also been a, an epic day for the lower seeds. They've been doing some serious damage. We've got Adriano de Souza and Stu Kennedy to look forward to. But right now, Sebastian Zietz up against Wiggly Dantas. And these two did meet in this same round over in Brazil. And it was Wiggly who actually took Sebastian down in a big way. This wave ridden during the break. A nice start for Wiggly. Oh, Wiggly just digging right in. He is no stranger to this lineup out here, cloud, cloud break. Yep, the 517, a strong foundation for Wiggly to start. He had to wait quite a while before he could get to work on this way of carving maneuver. Love that rebound. Sets him up for this slice. How much water does he displace when he really hucks into it, Ronnie? It's pretty extraordinary. Great timing, always. Let's see what Sebastian can do with this one. Drives up, out onto the open face. Just carves through that first turn, setting up a more vertical approach here. Just hung up for a moment. And he's going to get out of there. He doesn't like the feel of that ride. Wiggly gets a chance to get further ahead now. Doesn't overdo it on that first turn. A little wobbly on the second. He's going to get out of there. So both surfers dissipated. Sebastian loves to scrap on the inside. And he's doing well already with this wave. A couple of huge hits. Goes for a third. Let's just get ours on it. Wiggly has priority. And this is where Sebastian just seagulls into this wave. Got a nice read on this long wall. First turn, super strong and committed. The judges are going to love that. The release of the tail, that's another point of difference of those two maneuvers. So I think that's going to get the judges' attention. For the majority of the year injured so it's pretty rare that someone's able to pull it together mentally and compete under those circumstances both those surfers did very well and they're still alive in the draw now here goes Zietz once again I just don't see it happening to him he's no. just so strong mentally here we go 24 minutes and Sebastian Zietz still swinging on some insiders here um, yeah, had it up against me, but yeah, I just stuck to my turns and then ended up getting barrels. So yeah, just um, was kind of in rhythm with the ocean, and that's what you got to do out there is just get find that rhythm, and um, you'll get the good waves. And in his surfing, and it's really helped him get some big wins over surfers like Wiggly in the past. But we'll see what Wiggly can do with this one. Has a lot of speed, brings it through to the inside, puts it on the back foot. So a really solid turn there. To rival at 7.33, that's kind of, you know, the starting block for the judges right now. That's where the scores have been established. Zeets up, using priority for this one, and opts not to take it through to the inside. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Barton. Back to heat 11 now. Wiggly Dante's up with speed. He goes into that first section though. That wind, a little more hollow, and that's where he got his best number and shut Kolohe out. And this is another second wave in the set. This one's going to shut down, but it did have a nice steep first section. Sebastian's going to stick with it, though. He does get back out on that open face around that one section. Bashes up into it again. This wave offering more on the inside. Did well to dig his rail out of that last hunk of water. Just bogging down there for a moment, but had the speed to pull through just over 13 minutes to go wiggly pulling into the barrel a high line exit straight into a nice smooth carve he's going to punch through the back 13 minutes remaining here yep. of the hawaiian's wave this first turn throws that tail so finds that release similar to the 7.33 the turns that he was doing on that wave he had to wait a long time to find more open water to work with that cut there does well on this turn to hold that rail, but a little bit messy. I think that first turn was where the, the meat of the score is going to come from. But unfortunately, this wave didn't stand up enough for him to get critical. He still did some great surfing on it. Just beautiful taps through the line and then holds this rail right here, like you mentioned, just does so well to maintain it through that chunky piece of water and then Wiggly straight behind him looking for cover not getting particularly deep on this one another carving move but this wave gets a little funky so 
Don't think it's going to be a massive score for Wiggly. Watch all that milky liquid that he has to work with there, as well as the ribs coming up the face from the lower tide. Links it all together, just makes it a cohesive package. Let's get another look. There's that kind of two-step bottom turn there, but he just really just puts it away. Drifting that tail running, I think that was so important. That just shows that it's super critical. And here, you can see how he bides his time waiting and just also getting back into that foamy section is so important. It just sets you up to hit it more critically. So he does well to kind of find a bit of critical section where it was just offering him a lateral cut. Uh, usually a, a pretty regular cast that's that's going on to battle for the, the win here, but I think this year is going to be very different. I think we're going to see, uh, we're obviously going to have a new winner. Wow, deep cuts from Wiggly, hunting that tube, going pretty fast, going to have to burn some of that speed. Finds a bit of shade, but Wiggly trying to fight his way back that first turn. Pretty smooth, Ronnie. We spoke about how hard he likes to dig in the rail. And this is where he tries to slow down. Watch that technique speeding up again. So a lot of water draining off the reef. Gives him opportunity to find that shade. Is open to the opportunity of finding that 5.30. So Sebastian swings on this one. The job now to better a 5.6 on his way with two huge turns. Wants to get back out in front of this one. He does so, but he goes down on that third manoeuvre. Three against Ian Govea. Oh, Wiggly with an opportunity. Oh, well, he had to go. There wasn't much time. The hooter sounded, and he was Ooh. too deep. So Sebastian Zietz, he didn't up his heat score total with that last ride. He's enjoying a nice little tunnel to finish this heat, though. Ooh, Just gets uh, slapped down on that shallow inside section. But he just hangs on there and he is through to round four wiggly dantes just falling short there not much separate separating our competitors less than a point